Hi guys, Dr. Linda Kramer. Thank you so much for watching. Okay, last week I wasn't well for a we over a week. Um, I ended up taking over a week off and now I'm rescheduling everything. So please be mindful if you're looking for new content on my channel, please know that I haven't done anything for about a week, okay? Because I haven't been well. So today I want to answer a question about heaven. There's two parts to this because I've received two questions and I'm going to put these both in together. The first question that I received was, do I have to see my ex-husband who was an, I can't say the word anymore because now they're cutting it down. It's A-B-U-S-E-R. So it's like an ab user okay <laughs> it's funny you know you can't use certain words on youtube anymore isn't this ridiculous okay so she said her husband was had the ab he was the ab right user and she doesn't want to see him again in heaven will she have to see him again and the other question that i've received is about do we have to see people that we love a lady contacted me and she said i'm missing my husband so much he passed away three years ago and i can't wait to see him again so in both questions the answer is yes okay but please be aware why this is such a good thing okay when we go to heaven, it's virtually across the board with every person who's ever had a near-death experience, not just myself here, so this is the opinion of the many, we all say that in heaven it is pure love. It is unconditional love. There is no room ever up there for nasty, negative thoughts at all, okay? It's only good. And the only way that we get into heaven is by doing our life review. So I've got a video out there. It's called How My Life Review Worked. Go find it in my video stream and watch that if you're not sure about how it all works, okay? But we process and we heal all our past actions and thoughts. Now, actions and thoughts are actually different things. Actions are what we physically manifest from our thoughts. Our thoughts are our intentions. So as soon as I have a thought of, I'm going to go to the shop today. That's an intention that I'm putting out to the universe to say, you know what? I'm going out today. I, I've made the free will decision I've given the thought my consent, so I'm going now to the shop. That's what an intention is all about, right? So when we do our life review, we have to heal not only those intentions, which are our thoughts, but we also heal the actions that we've done. So we've got two women, one who doesn't want to see her ex and the other one who does want to see her ex. So let's start with the one who doesn't want to ever see him again. <coughs> let's go there. She is still hanging on to a lot of past issues herself, correct? Whose responsible is it to heal all that? Hers. That's the first thing I want to say here. We must learn how to forgive and to accept others for what they've done now if you're sitting there and you think man that's harsh linda you know my ex you don't know what he did to me let me just go there did he kill you because mine did i know the full force of the ab followed by user okay mental and physical okay so we can't say or compare one person to the next of what they've done okay the only thing that we can do is heal ourselves 
and say to ourselves, I am not going to be a victim based on what someone else did to me. How many people out there, and I'm not just accusing here because it's rampant now, everybody is now playing the victim game because of something else that's affected their lives, okay? So that's the first thing that we've all got to heal because when we go to heaven, we go through the healing process. So wouldn't it make sense to start it all now so you're not doing it up there when it's tenfold? Because it is tenfold, okay? So what happens is the lady who does not want to see her husband again, when he passed away, he's already gone through that life review. He's already forgiven himself for what he did to her. He's already forgiven her for any actions that she may or may not have done to him. I'm not accusing here, okay? But it's the reciprocal or that perspective of both sides, okay? I saw that cat. I had to become not just me when I was pulling the cat's tail, but I also had to become the cat to know what it felt when this little toddler called Linda was pulling my tail as the cat. So we do go through that process with our life review, okay? But with regards to that woman, okay, where she does not want to see her ex again, that is her responsibility now to heal it. Because when we go to heaven, she's going to heal it then, and it is tenfold. All that pain's going to be excruciating. So start doing the process now, okay? When she meets him, when they're both in heaven, she's going to run up to him and say, thank you. Thank you for what I learned through that experience. Because every person who comes into our lives is there for a reason, okay? Every single person that comes into our lives is a learning experience, okay? So when you're looking at your partners, your children, your pets, your neighbors, your co-workers, your friends, always say to yourself, what is this person teaching me? Or... What am I here to teach them? Because that's the doozy, right? Okay. So the first lady who doesn't want to see her husband again, she's inevitably going to see him again. And it's going to be awesome because she and he have to heal all that pain during the life review. Okay. So go and watch my life review video if you haven't already seen it. Okay. Now let's go to the woman who said, oh my gosh, my husband died three years ago and I miss him so much, I can't wait to see him. My answer straight away to her is this one. How many husbands and wives and children and aunties and uncles and grandchildren and aunties and other people do you want to see when you go to heaven? Do you honestly believe that this is our one and only life that we've ever had? Because I hope you're going to say no to that. So as soon as you say, oh, I've had 10 past lives, five of them were male, as an example, five of them were female, good chance that you've had five husbands and five wives. So which husband right now do you want to see? Because we're only thinking in this one three-dimensional life. Because if we do transmute over to heaven, because remember, a lot of people do stay as ghosts, so they don't go to heaven just yet. But then again, there's no time in heaven. So even when they do pass and they become a spirit, which is in heaven, you're going to see all of everybody you've ever known in any other lifetime. Future, present or past. Because up there, there's no time. Okay. Now, I say I was up there for five years. Because I base that on the length of time that it takes to say a sentence. I've now been talking for nine and a half minutes. So imagine that by a thousand of what I would have spoken out of my mouth. So then that is 90,000, 90, 9,000 minutes. So how many hours is that? Okay. So now I'll work it out to what I call about 18 months when I was in heaven. And then I've based it on how long 
a distance I walked because if I was walking at say four kilometers an hour and I walked for six hours that would have only been six by four come on do your maths um six fours 12 24 40 24 hours is a day right so I reckon I walked around for months and months and months because I walked hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of kilometers okay so that's how I base it so I've got a video out there it's called how the hell was I in here how was I in heaven for five years it's in my video list okay go watch that one so the lady who said she does not want to see her husband again well, yeah, she's got to learn how to heal. The lady who said, I can't wait to see my husband again because I miss him. She's got to remember that she's had more than one life. When we go to heaven, we return to our soul. We're part of every life we've ever had and everybody else. Because how many NDEs actually say, drum roll please, everything is one. Even if you watch the law of um, the universal laws, you know, like law of attraction, that's universal law number, is it seven or nine? Come on, guys, research this stuff or watch my video. It's in the list about universal laws, right? So universal law number one says everything is connected and therefore everything is one. Huh? So when we go home, we're not separate. We're not different we're not um segregated in isolation from other souls as soon as we think about one of the people walking down the street we become that other person and we see linda or me walking behind it it's all in my book five years in heaven if you want to copy the link is below okay because i'm all about education here guys you know i don't expect people to go and buy stuff but all my videos are free okay i haven't been here for a week so in the next week i'm going to try and get a good couple of videos out so if you do have questions guys please email me my link is below to email me linda at linda radon info or comment if you want other people to hear it okay but most importantly please like share and subscribe to this channel because my videos are all educational we don't have to fear what's coming after our death, okay? Because ultimately, if we don't stay as a he as a ghost, we all go to heaven. We process all what we've done in this lifetime, and then it's great, hallelujah, okay? So we don't have to fear death at all. And I'll go there. The main reason why people fear death is that they are egotistical, putting too much emphasis on what this life represents the thing that i've been hearing about jd and ah at this point they've got that court case going through virginia everybody and their dog wants their 15 minutes of fame the lawyers look what the lawyers are doing now they want their 15 minutes of fame everybody wants their 15 minutes of fame we all want to be remembered for something take your ego out of it guys because when we go to heaven, everything on this planet is butkus. It means zip, zero nada, okay? We don't need it because our souls are eternal. All this drama, all these issues that we think are so prominent, they mean nothing at the end of the day. So don't allow things to upset, scare you, or most of all, make you react. Because emotions are only our reaction to situations. Think about it. You see a puppy, so we get happy. It's a reaction to seeing the dog, why we get happy. We drop our ice cream on the floor and the kid starts to cry. Oh, that's my ice cream. It's a reaction to dropping the ice cream while we get upset. Okay, so all our emotions are a reaction to some situation that we've been through. 
What reaction are you going to do today? We can love or hang on to past regrets and grudges. Please say you want to be in heaven where we accept all. Because both of those ladies, the one who doesn't want to see her husband and the one who does, they both have to heal everything we've ever done. So when we go to heaven, the only thing that exists is unconditional love. Now, I was about to click the phone to get off then. Wow. Huh, funny that, I just got a text. Ha, now I do have to get off. Okay, guys, love you all. I hope that's helped your question. Please comment below if it makes sense. Please email me if you've got other questions because I really want to get through them all today, okay? Love you all. Talk soon. Bye. To learn more about your Solistic Alignment, please press the like button and click subscribe. To purchase any of Dr. Linda Kramer's books or services, please visit www.lindaray.info.